Hello, and welcome to this new video. And look at all this delicious source code. What is this? This is my master's project. Um, it is a massively multi-user sound environment. It's kind of, it's not a game. It allows you to connect with other users um, in, this, in this online space and, and build sonic well, sound generating structures from a bunch of building blocks. I'm not going to go into massive detail about it yet. It's not ready, it will be free to use, and it will be out soon, but it, it's a very early prototype. can't do very much, but it kind of proves, proves the concept. It's got some very uh, simple functionality for now. But yes, you can, it, you can go online with a bunch of other users and kind of build some interesting sounds, as it is. And actually, I just wanted to do a demo of the granular synthesis implementation I have in it that kind of allows you to build these grinder clouds together with people. I'm just going to log in with my generic user details here. So now I'm connected. There's nobody else here, but if there was anyone else here, they could see basically everything that I build in here and interact with the things that I've made. And here's what I could make. Grains, bloops, samples, and wavefront. Grains are, as the name probably suggests, granular synthesis grains. Bloops are kind of harmonics, or sine waves with an envelope attached to them. Samples are samples. And wavefronts, I'm going to demonstrate now. If I put a wavefront down, it's essentially an object that sends out uh, periodic waves, and I can set the rate at which it sends out periodic waves, and change the distance at which it sends out periodic waves. And there's a grid, so I can attach objects. I can snap objects to its grid. So essentially, it's kind of like a sequencer. Uh, so for example, if I was to put a bloop here, I'm trying to speed up a bit. It triggers the bloop once the wavefront reaches it. Right now, I can change basically the sequencer speed. And if I change the distance, it actually moves all of the other entities that are attached to it to actually stay snapped to the grid. So I can make things very compact. Once I've made something interesting, I can just make it compact and put it in a corner somewhere. And also, uh, everything takes place in a very large kind of map, so I can move around with the arrow keys. And when I get further away, everything actually gets quieter. Uh, because everyone just builds in this persistent, continuous space, so you don't want to hear everyone's things in the distance all the time. You might want to be able to just build in your own little corner somewhere. Actually, I'm recording with this with Camtasia, and it's kind of slowing things down, which is a bit annoying. I'm going to delete all these things here, because I want to do grains instead, not loops. So I'm going to expand this, and slow it down a bit. I'm going to add a grain. I only have two files to granulate so far, but I will prepare more for the released version. So you can see, essentially, when the wave reaches, um, well, the vicinity of the grain, it starts playing it. And I can sequence grains to build up some interesting soundscapes. the speed now, obviously, the grain playback speed increases, so I can sequence grains and play them at the various speeds. And, yeah, if you were on the server and just came across my little thing here, you could just see, just hear it, and actually move my grains if I unlock them and let you move them, so you know, sequence them in a different pattern and make a different sound. If I add another wavefront here, actually I can add as many wavefronts as I want. Yeah, 
it kind of attenuates with distance, so I can, you know, start building in another place without hearing my original thing. Graphics are a bit choppy because of the um, software I'm using to record it, which is a bit annoying. It's actually very smooth. Uh, the camera movements are all smooth and stuff. So, thanks for watching this quick demo. The software will be out fairly soon. I have to iron out a couple of bugs. It will have it will have bugs when it's out, because well, I'm releasing it to test it. So, um, I, I need to test it for my dissertation. By the way, there's also a chatting service, so users can chat with each other and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to do a demo soon that involves other users as well. So stay tuned for that, and I'll probably have more features as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.